With less than 31 hours to go in the transfer window, I think it's about time that Rangers hold up the white flags and admit defeat. Welcome back to the channel. The news breaking today, this, let's just put this into contrast here. You've got on the other side of the city, Celtic making record bids. 11 million, 13 million euros, whatever, 5, 6 million on centre-backs. Uh, over at Ibrox, you've got some bald guy getting a stadium tour and it's being labelled as a new signing. If that doesn't sum up the difference right now, I don't know what does. You know, we're selling some of our better players, right? Yeah, I've bashed Cantwell, right? I'm not going to say Scott Wright's one of our better players, but we're looking at Haji Cantwell, right? Probably going for a combined total of 1.5 million. Ben Davies is away on loan. It's like, this club's being run into the ground right now. We're simply getting rid of players at the ch we, are, we are getting rid of players that are worth so much more. Puffy Scott, right? Hadji and Cantwell are worth more, right? Don't really care what's going on. But when you transfer less people and you get down to the dying embers of a transfer window and clubs know you're desperate, they are just going to lowball you. They are going to bid cheap. And it's like, that would be one thing if Rangers were actually going to bring in players. Philip Clement told us on Saturday, right, that we were going to bring in more players than we have let out. It looks like we're going to let out at least three. I don't think Hadji's going to go anymore, but Cantwell, right? And Ben Davies, unless, well, Leon King's actually linked with a move to Ross County, so he might make it four, which would mean we would have to bring in four signings in less than 31 hours just to even level up what Clement said. And people are like, oh, well, it's not Clement's fault, it's the board, they must be telling him. No, Clement must be an absolute imbecile then if he can't see through this board. How many times has this board lied to him? And he's not even been here a year. He's not even been here a year. Why would he come out and purposely say we're going to make more signings than what we let go when he knows this board's not to be trusted? That just proves to me that the guy is a is a tool. But if we move away from come on, what about John Bennett? This FUD? We've actually got images being taken at the stadium, right? And people are running with it that we're actually signing new players. Some bald guy. Looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin from a distance. Some people actually want it to be... St That's how fucking desperate things are that... People are looking at this guy and think, oh, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know what it probably is? It's probably two things. A, it is some fan doing a stadium tour. B, we know the old firm is on Sunday. It's probably Cheerney doing some interview piece for the Sky Sports programme for the pre-match build-up. That's probably what it is. And it's flip-flops. And people are like, oh, look, who's this new signing? People are like, oh, it looks like Davy Classen's coming to Rangers. What? Is it, what is going on here? You know, the only link that we've got is to the Albanian guy. Yo, know, look, looks good. I'll admit, he looks good. It looks like he, he did some good work in the Euro, scoring that goal against Italy. Plays for Sassolo. Um, looks like a decent player. But it's another loan. It's just loan, loan, loan. Nothing concrete, nothing permanent. The club is on its arse. There's not really much more to... We are finished as the, the thumbnail suggests. Like, what is going on? See, people on Twitter, after the news today, are admitting defeat, not only to this league title, but they are saying that Celtic are going to do the 10. Imagine that. It must be nice to actually be able to go out and splash 11 million on a player. Rangers are done, man. And see any positivity that came out of that Ross County game, it's it's firmly gone now because there, there is nothing happening we are linked when we're linked with one guy that here I said yesterday I would be surprised if we brought one player in so maybe I should be happy if we bring this guy in but we need so much more everyone's saying it we are light we are so light you let, you let Scott Wright go and he needs to go I'd rather actually have Scott Wright at the club than keep him even if it meant bringing no one in in his position I said look at the wings you've got Tierney Matondo um, Yefty but he's having to play left back because Yilmaz is injured You've got McCausland, probably a couple of other youth players that I'm forgetting about, but it's, it's so poor at the minute. Centre back, you know, if you let King out on loan, Davies is away on loan, that means you're left with proper Balgan and Suter. Two of the three are currently injured right now. We don't have any idea how long they, they'll be out for. Hopefully, both of them could make an appearance or be ready for the weekend. Right back, we've got the shyest bastard by the name of James Tavernier. Who's, who's done? Tav, you need to go. He needs to go. He needs to have a word with Clement, man. He needs to do something. He, he can't continue to... Dyson Maida it, it is going to ride him like a donkey on Saturday, man, and, and leave him for dust. It's unacceptable what's going on. It's all over. 
Um, we're finished. We're not making any signings apart for this Albanian guy who, yeah, who looks good, right? But it's nowhere near enough. Clement's lied to us. The board have lied to us. We're finished. Some guy doing an interview, getting his, getting his picture taken at Ibrox beside a tractor. And that, that's the pinnacle of the transfer deadline day that we're waiting on. Disaster. Anyway, till next time. Peace.